I'm Anna with Marshall Communications, and Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and it is my absolute favorite holiday. So today, instead of cooking a recipe, I'm going to share some of my favorite tips to make your Thanksgiving the best ever. I have a couple of turkey tips. Tip one is to brine your bird. One of the common complaints when you're roasting a turkey is that the white meat is dry and tasteless. Because in order to cook the dark meat to a safe temperature, you frequently end up overcooking the light meat. So that's why brining is so important. If you soak your bird in a, in a salt water solution for 24 hours beforehand, or you do a dry brine, which is just like a salt rub all over the bird, it helps retain the moisture as it bakes. So not only does your white meat not dry out, but everything tastes better. So my favorite brine is a New England maple brine. And so your turkey sits in like maple syrup and brown sugar and salty water and a whole bunch of other spices. And all those flavors come through in the bird and it's super delicious. The dry brine is the other brining option, which really means a salt rub. People do this with all kinds of meat. And so you take salt and whatever spices you want and rub it all over your bird and keep it chilled in the fridge for 24 hours before you want to roast it. So either brining technique will help with the dry turkey, white meat and dark meat not cooking at the same time. But another major tip that you can do without brining if you want is the ice bag tip. So before you bake your bird, take a Ziploc, like gallon size Ziploc bag, fill it with ice, and then put it on top of the breast of the turkey to bring that meat down to as cold of a temperature as possible. Then when you put it in the oven, it takes longer to cook, giving the dark meat more time to cook on its own, helping everything stay nice and tender and juicy. So I hope either of these tips you incorporate this year and you find that you have one of the best tasting birds. If you want to use my New England maple brine, I'm going to include a link to that in the copy below this video. Another thing I like to do with my turkeys is take the neck and the giblets um, from inside the bird and put in a big stock pot, throw in some water, some carrots, onions, bay leaves, celery, things to make a tasty stock and let that simmer for a few hours the day before you want to roast your bird. And then you have this wonderful like homemade stock that's great for stuffing or your gravy or you could cook the potatoes that you want to mash in it. I don't know. It's awesome. So don't waste anything and make your own stock. Cranberry tips. You're always going to have those people at Thanksgiving who can't live without a cranberry sauce in a can. So go and get some of that and make them happy. But there's also those people who don't like cranberry sauce because their only experience has ever been with the canned stuff. So it's so easy to make your own cranberry sauce. You just get a bag of cranberries and like throw in some sugar and spices. There's tons of recipes out there. And I think it's this is like a great time to try something new in your Thanksgiving and do your own homemade cranberry sauce. I always make cranberry relish, which is a raw cranberry sauce, I guess you could say, with whole oranges and walnuts and sugar, and I let that sit around for a few days before Thanksgiving. And I think it is the ideal palate cleanser because so many of the dishes in Thanksgiving are really rich and salty or overly sweet. So if you have a cranberry relish, it just really helps balance out the whole plate for you. My mashed potato tip is probably going to be one that some people are going to think I'm crazy, but I like to use my potato ricer. I peel and boil my potatoes like everyone else does. Instead of mashing them with a potato masher, I push them through this and then there's no lumps at all. And I think it makes really nice, smooth, fluffy mashed potatoes. I hope you incorporate at least one of my Thanksgiving tips into the holiday for yourself this year and that it brings a little extra joy and a little extra flavor and awesomeness into your life. And happy Thanksgiving.